here in Monroe County. You come over the Virginia line into Peterstown, West Virginia, and make your way north through Monroe County. It's, it's very agricultural. It's the lowest elevation along the Mountain Music Trail, which isn't necessarily all that low, but it's beautiful farmland on either side of the road. Monroe County is a really lovely place. It's a very quiet, quiet, uh, slow pace of life. People are very proud of their, their agricultural heritage and their music heritage, of course, too. Um, people are, are very community-minded. They're very proud of the fact there are no stoplights in the county. Despite the lack of, you know, big venues where you would go to see a concert, there are way more opportunities to come in a small, intimate setting like here at the Greenville School. Come sit around with folks, get to know folks, play some music with them, jam. I guarantee you'll walk away with a couple new friends at the end of the day in Monroe County. Everybody here is, is super friendly and welcoming. Every year on the first weekend in June, locals celebrate Monroe County's agricultural heritage in downtown Union during Farmer's Day. Locally grown food is sold along the sidewalks and local bands lend their talents for the street dance. Farmlands of Monroe County are nourishing a strong sense of community while preserving traditional music along the Mountain Music Trail. In Greenville, members of the music community are giving new life to a space that was once occupied by young musicians. The Greenville School opened, and, and I'm going to just kind of approximate this, it was in the 20s. The school was operational till 1994. So the school had set in a state of disrepair for, since 94. And the timeout building used to be a band building, so uh, they, they renovated it pretty quickly so we could start using it. And almost immediately we started having a jam session every Tuesday. Open to anybody that wanted to come, bring whatever instrument, guitar, ukulele. We have one lady, she wasn't there today, she plays the accordion. So it's just a, a nice jam and we, we all enjoy that. The Tuesday jam starts every Tuesday at 11. We play till about quarter to 12, people eat. Then we play till about one o'clock after everybody eats. So we encourage anybody to come that, that uh, wants to play. And the age doesn't matter if you want to play. We do this the first Tuesday of every August. The local Greenville Ruritan Club sponsors this. And the band that was here today is the Hands Creek String Band. They've played here every year that I've lived here. So, uh, like I said, first Tuesday of every August, it's a wonderful time. You don't need to look far for inspiration when on the shores of Moncove Lake State Park. Tucked away in the hills, it isn't hard to imagine how the landscape might have influenced musicians such as Monroe County native and old-time fiddler Henry Reed. This is the only place I've ever lived where everyone within 10 miles of you is your neighbor and you know everyone personally. And it is the most fabulous place I've ever lived. We, we hope people will come here and see just how fabulous it is. Mm -hmm.